Welcome back, everybody, to Season 1, Episode 47 of 7 Days to Die Survival Series. My name is Lainey for Nerly Gaming, and today um, we are still on Day 55, so the Horde is not going to be until tomorrow. So what we are planning to do today is, well, take a nice look at our garden that we built yesterday. Very nice. We are not going to sleep on all the rotten flesh that we need to finish this, but for now... Um, I think the next step will be to go out and try to find a working stiff stool or a new uh, trader. Now, I know this is probably going to be a pointless adventure, but at least we are going to try. At least we are going to try. Um, we are going to go with our motorcycle. Let me just make sure that we have enough gas in it. That should do. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get murdered by my bike daily. But the reason why we're taking the bike and not the truck is because this is going to be an exploratory adventure. So if we don't end up finding anything, I don't want to uh, be taking too long. The truck obviously is a lot slower than the mo motorcycle. So uh, we are going to go as fast as possible. And tomorrow we will probably just work on uh, finishing off the base. I have a lot of uh, rebar, so we should be okay. And we're cooking up some more cement. So everything should be fine to finish off the horde base and maybe even finish off this base. I don't know if I'll include it, but if I do, you guys will get to see it. And if not, you'll get to see the final product either way. Um, but I think the plan right now is to just go around and look at the POIs. It's going to be a nice little... There's a wolf. Nice one. Oh, I hate when it does that. By the way, when it keeps it zoomed in like that, I figured out if you just press shift, it comes off the zoom. But it's pretty annoying that you have to do it, you know? That it doesn't automatically just unzoom you. But, you know, game things. So let's loot this up and then um, we're going to explore this town first. Although I am fairly certain there's no working stiff stool in this town. And I don't think there's any, like, garage that I have not looked into yet. But definitely any garage or anything that looks like uh, could have some sort of tools we're going to investigate. Uh, well, let's get going. Oh, actually. Actually. This farm, I believe. If we could just move this over here. I believe there might be a red box in here. Yeah, there is. I don't know if you'll have any loot in it, but we're going to take a look. Okay, <laughs> this is a wire tool. But we were correct. At least our assumption was correct that this farm would have something. Uh, what's funny about that is I believe we've already looted this farm. So I think the loot has respawned. Look at the piggies. All right, boys. Let's do this. Nope. <laughs> the piggies don't die in one shot with the silencer. It's not good. It's not good because my aim is not incredible here. I did get a mod for the hunting rifle that would allow me... There we go. Ah, zoom out. I, I did get a mod for the hunting rifle that would allow me to... Um, do more damage to living things, which I'm guessing it's just all the, all the, you know, the pigs, the bears, all that stuff. So I should put it on when I go do these kind of, um, these kind of things, but I don't really think this, this, uh, rifle has any extra mods. So it's that or the scope, but I think I might be okay with that one. All right. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything in this, in this place, so... Well, let's just pack this up and go to the next. Very nice. Whew. We came out of nowhere. Yeah, we've already looted this place. Uh, we could scoop out the... Um... The cobblestone and everything, but I just wanted to see if there was uh, <laughs> a red box here. I've been told those are the ones to look out for. A steel shovel. <laughs> Level 3. 
that better than the one I have? It is. <laughs> you know, we at least got an upgrade in that department. So that's good. And we have stumbled across. Oh, that's not what I was looking at. This thing here. It looks like a junkyard. I feel these will lead us somewhere we're not ready to go. Indeed. All right. Now we have to make a decision. Is this what we want to do with our time? The answer is yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? You know, sometimes you just go where life takes you. In this case, it has taken us to a bunker. Uh, that hopefully we'll have some food. But most especially, we'll have an auger. I mean, I, I doubt it. <laughs> but it's fine. I don't think if there, I don't know if there's zombies here, but it seems quite quiet. Too quiet, you know? Okay, we have looted everything in the kitchen. They had five cook pots. I have actually never seen so many cookpots in one kitchen. So that's, uh, they were pretty ready on that. Oh, we haven't drop. Where are you? Oh, look, there's also a quest nearby. You know what? I guess this is where we're going. This is where life is taking us today. And we are going to go look at it. Oh, very cool. It's right next to our house. <laughs> All right. So we'll mark that. And we'll go back later on the way back. So, you also get to see an airdrop pick up in this episode. Oh, very cool. Yeah, absolutely no zombies here. I wonder if we've been here before, but I, I really don't think so. Let's try to open this. Guys, we went through like 11 picks for this. <laughs> oh, the, I don't know if that was worth it. I don't know if I was worth it at all. Oh, oh well. You know, win some, lose some. So we are going to hit up another town. Uh, but the first thing we want to do is let's we'll just go do the quest. We're so close. And right, here we are. It's basically... <laughs> I was like, what is happening? My bike is just running downhill. Bike, stop. Stop it. All right, well, we're going to start this quest, finish it off, and hopefully the bike will still be there. A lot easier than I remember. <laughs> then again, when I did it last time, I um, I had nothing. So, that makes sense. Alright, quest complete. And uh, now we have to go hunt down for our bike. Oh, wow. Nope, not another town, guys. But we have stumbled across the ocean. So beautiful. Look at this. Incredible. Well, if anything, at least we have seen the ocean. And it is splendid. So beautiful. And then it's all these little lakes nearby. Oh, that would have been a cool spot to build. A little bit far away from civilization, but really nice. Okay, we are back to civilization. There's a couple of garages here. And obviously the poppin' pills, which is gonna be really nice to loot eventually. But we have a drop that is very close to us, so let's just go ahead and and go over there and pick it up. There's a garage here. We're just checking the garage. Oh, hello, cop. I don't think I need my my weapon for this. Well, this is a weapon too. I don't need my gun. Keep him down with the hammer. Very cool. Alright. Well, no crate here. That I can see. There's a cop in there as well. 
but we are just simply looking for augers. All right, we'll take some repair kits. Why not? A laser side mod. Very cool. And a mod. Okay, we're just going to get out of here now. Uh, we appreciate it. I am sure you had other stuff in there. And we will check it out later, but our goal really is just to... Oh, we can maybe take him out. Cool. I remember there was a bookcase here. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, let's just go really quickly to get the bookcase. No, 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 no particular reason why I'm going up this way. <laughs> yep. I knew there was a book there. I just knew it. Well, at least I knew there was a bookcase. I wasn't really sure if the book would be there. But that is convenient. I believe we checked this one already. But we'll check it again. Nope. Yeah, that one's not working. Hello. Alright, and there's one more home over there. And I think after this, we are going to leave this neighborhood. Because, as you can see, it doesn't seem to be producing what we need. Alright, he's a goner. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. We got a bicycle chassis. I mean, that's not nothing. It's just not what we need, you know? So the surge continues. Oh, very nice. Uh, we do 10% more damage to saves, so... Let's use it. And we'll put all these weapons... Oh, no, we're full. <laughs> it's like, we'll put all these weapons in. Oh, well. We're gonna have to start scrapping. Okay, guys, we're going to check up here. Just go up the road over here and see if there's another town. If not, we're going to do a swoop around the desert town and then come around towards our other forest towns that are on the on the other side. So let's keep going. Very nice. We have arrived to a different um, desert town. I'm pretty sure this is not the same one that we had previously seen. Oh, wow. There's another U.S. Army post. I'm obsessed. You know what? We might run it again. We might run it again. But I may be off camera because you guys have seen it twice already. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah, there's another town over here. So we have this is the one where I live in. Then this is the one with a bunch of houses. And this one I haven't fully discovered. And there's another one there. And this is the one where we usually go for the desert. But uh, this one looks very nice indeed. And instead of just running past everything, let's just stop <laughs> and check all the garages first. This one, this one has a mine in it. Oh no, I don't, I don't think we want to go down there. <laughs> oh no, and then there's more up there. No, no, this looks like it's gonna take too long. We're just doing quick, quick checks. We have a, we have a time schedule here. And if we don't find it, then we don't find it. But at least we we tried. Alrighty. I love Camp Hope. This was one of my homes once. It's a super solid spot to build. Because it has a wall. <laughs> so all you have to do is make an entrance. Hello. Hello, piggy. Got him. Oh, and we have a little wolf as well. Or a coyote. We'll take out the zombie the old-fashioned way. Well, at the very least, if we don't find an auger, at least we have done a solid meat run. <laughs> Hello. And goodbye. I love whenever they go down so quickly. Feels amazing. 
I'll pick these up because there's sometimes stuff under there. Oh, yeah. I remember there's stuff in there, but I'm not going there. Nope. We're not doing it. Okay, that's annoying. We found a wheel, so that's that's solid. I don't know why now I would need a wheel. <laughs> I already have most of the vehicles, but maybe the gyrocopter also needs a wheel. Hello, Mama. I see you. Very cool. And uh, we'll hit up these logs, because these logs are a sexy amount of wood. Uh, the last thing we want to check out is this little area over here. But if there's nothing, we're, we're going to move on. I can see you. Ah, oh, run. <laughs> oh, the sh sh shadows. You got to play with shadows, guys. In this game. They're a lifesaver. All right, well, they're trying to break out of there. Come get me. But you're not going to gotcha me. <gasps> no way. No way. Okay, when I said we were going to go on the hunt for an auger, I really didn't actually think it would happen. I, I genuinely... Like, I'm holding my hands to my head right now. I cannot believe this. Okay, we're gonna take this really quickly before and it's a level five, and it's we're gonna take this really quickly before it's too late. Oh my god, that is insane. I I I um I don't even know what to say. I don't even know if we want to stay here anymore. Um I might have screamed, I don't know. I like I, in, I uh, you know? I don't even know. I'm just so excited. Oh words. I, I can't even come up with words. Okay. Well, um, I guess our hunt for Augur was successful. Camp Hope just kicks ass. It, it delivers again. And I almost didn't check that little shed because I said there's no way. You know, I didn't even know you could find augers in a workbench. I, I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, guys. Guys, it's so beautiful. Okay, we're going to repair it and just make sure that we hit repair. Okay, instead of... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> if we scrap that thing, I might just quit this game. <laughs> this save would be done. Oh, wow. We even finished before nighttime. I thought we were going to be here all the way up to nighttime. I don't even know what to do. Okay, I was going to auger tomorrow. So um, now that we don't have to, I guess uh, let's think of something fun to do for the rest of the night. I don't even know. Um... I can't believe it. I didn't even... You know, I wasn't even going to come to this town. I was going to go to the other town. Oh, now I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling because I'm so happy. Okay, well, um, I think that's what we should have done a lot earlier instead of just complaining about Jen not giving us an auger. Should we just go into Doggos? Because we're here. I don't know. I just don't know. Well, let's do something cool. I feel like we need to do something amazing. Dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I do nothing here seems worthy, you know. Because it was such an event. But no, we're going to do a little night looting. Because uh, we're feeling a little bit brave. And because, you know, we found it. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> I cannot believe we found it. <laughs> oh, it just feels so good. All right, all right. Uh, we'll do these cars, okay? Because we do need cars, and we do need to wrench things, and there's corn here. You know, this is a good spot. This is a good spot. Uh, we can we can hang out here, uh, get this, wrench all this stuff, and uh, then I think we're we're good to go home. I mean, this is it. This is the pinnacle of my day. There's I, I, just nothing could go better. Oh, another workbench. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a it's a working one, but. I am checking every workbench from now into eternity. Oh, wow. A claw hammer and 25 repair kits. You know, it's worth it. I think this is a lesson. You know, go around and just check every garage. Forget the house, you know. Just do, like, if you have a motorcycle, of course, or a bike. Just go around, check every garage. It's worth it. It's so much more worth it than, than trying to go for the whole building. 
Especially for me, because I am quite a hoarder, so I just keep everything. Oh, here you are. I was like, there's no way there's no zombie here. Cool. I hit my, my turret, but that's okay. Oh, he died here with the suitcase. It's so sad. I'm a schematic for a cement mixer. <laughs> I mean, I already have it, but... Who cares, guys? Life is amazing. You know, life is good. All right. I um I want to be in this beautiful desert town, but I have enough I have enough gasoline at home. Um so I could wrench some of these cars, but as you can see my inventory is a little bit um it's a little bit on the thick side. Let me see if I can put anything in the bike and then I'll start wrenching some of these before we leave. All right, we have wrenched all the vehicles, every single one of them. And uh, we got quite a bit more stuff. I also poked all the little baggies of blood out there so we could get as much bones and spoiled meat as possible. But now we are heading home. This has been a wonderful adventure, but we are a little bit stuffed. We also found two engines there, so this has truly been an extraordinary trip. I have nothing but happiness and, and absolutely nothing to complain about. I, I actually can't believe it worked. I, I'm still just like, you know, unbelievable. Oh, I almost left without the corn. Guys, how could you? How could you let me leave without the corn? We're going to punch some of this out. What am I doing picking at this thing? What is life? What am I thinking? This is our moment. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of zombies coming out our way because we're doing this. But sometimes you just have to live. And I want to do this. I don't need to because I have like <laughs> six stacks of gas at least at home. But, you know, we're just going to do it. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautifulness. We're just grabbing a little bit more so we can actually just dig our lives into the ground. We might even have an underground base now. I don't even care. We're just making stuff. We're just digging. Okay, that's all I wanted to dig because I am going to call in a lot of zombies and um, I don't want to lose my auger. <laughs> Whatever happens, this auger is going to stay with me at all times. If something happens and I lose my auger, I'm actually going to lose my mind. All right, do not hit a mine. Just get home safely. I'll see you guys when I get there. We are home. It's a little bit dark. Just a little bit dark at home. We need to actually work on some lights <laughs> around this place, but... Oh, I cannot care less about anything else. Look what we got in our inventory. The joy, the joy. All right, let's move all this stuff inside. We're going to head out really quickly. And we're going to use our auger. Yep. There's no way we got an auger today. And we are not going to end this episode digging out the greatest hole we could possibly dig. And since we do need some iron, this will be a nice adventure. Now, I hope I don't dig myself into the hole here. Like, I hope I don't kill myself. I don't actually think there's any iron left in this mine, though, to be honest. I'd have to dig in deeper, but... Oh, look at this. It's like butter. Just... Goodbye, stone. Goodbye effort, right? Like, I'm not sweating it anymore. It's just all just crumbling down. Wonderful. Look how nice. But as you can see, we're really only getting stone, so... This mine might be just completely boofed. Oh no, there's some iron. Okay, there's still, there's still hope. And we definitely need some iron because we are about to go into the steel age. Since we also got a crucible um, BP. Oh, there's another one. Just the cave-in is my thing, you know? Oh, look at this though. It's beautiful. It is actually the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I can't actually believe it worked. I, you know, sometimes you just, you just need to trust yourself. That this is a good idea. 
I mean, it was a terrible idea, I'll be honest, to go on the day before Horde Night to just wander around, but I actually didn't think I would find it. I just thought I would find other cool things, you know? And that would be enough. Oh, it's already out of fuel. <laughs> that's okay. We expect it to be inefficient, but that's okay because we don't care, right? Um, we'll make some support here, so hopefully this thing doesn't fall in on me. It'll be nice. And, um, let's grab our little new claw hammer as well. We've gotten so many new things. I don't even know if I need to carry my steel axe anymore. I could just carry my auger. Maybe I'm just getting a little auger crazy, but, I mean, it is awesome. So why not, right? Um, but, yep. Yeah. I think the pickaxe is still good to carry because you do need to open doors and things. Yeah, just auger everything. <laughs> we just auger into everything. That's okay. I think I might actually do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little insane at the moment. Look at this. This is... I mean, we are about to have a steel home. If you guys come back tomorrow and we have a full steel home, I mean, it depends on how fast the forges can work, but... Now that we have the Crucible BP, we can just make it on all the forges, so... Just make another forge if we want. Oh, man. This is... This is wonderful. We're about to go underground, like, hermits. Now, I hope this doesn't make the, the whole thing collapse. Oh, there goes another one. Um, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit careful here. But, not too careful. Oh, no. <laughs> you can see, never too careful. But yeah, guys, thanks for coming on this journey with me for the most magnificent resource in this game, which is just better tools. The only thing we're missing now is um, a nail gun, <laughs> which would streamline our uh, building process a lot. But I'm pretty okay with not getting it. The hammer is not the best, but it's two hit instead of one hit. So it's not the worst either. I can definitely live with it. It's nothing like having an auger versus having a pick right because it's not only the amount of time that this saves you which is an insane amount of time like that broke that rock in the time that it would have taken me to break a couple of hits on the rock and yeah the rocks do break quickly with a good with a good steel pick but it's also the energy like look at my stamina it's not going down i'm not having to drink red tea i'm not really getting tired and it's just the gas it's just the gas that you're using which i mean we can just go farm more it's not a big deal so, oil shell is not that rare, and uh, and we have a vehicle, so uh, yeah, I could not be happier with this. I, I actually can't believe it happened. <laughs> I, I thought we were going to go, and it was just going to be like a, like a little adventure where we went around trying to find one, and the off chance that we would get one, and it actually happened. It actually happened. I, I still cannot believe it. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode. If you would like to see more episodes, please consider leaving a like or subscribe. Join us on Discord, please. The link is in the description below. And as always, I uh, hope to see you next time. Until then. <laughs>